this is one of the best, cheapest, and fastest road trip meals you're ever going to make. Stay tuned, I'll show you how to make it. Hey, Chef Corso, I'm here to put you on the path to amazing meals on your outdoor treks, and I found another rock to cook on, and that gets me really excited. But we are here in the middle of Wyoming, just outside of the Sinks Canyon State Park, and before we get to cooking, here's our 360 pano view. Yeah, not a bad place to have some lunch. So if you see from the pano view, we've got our, our rig down there. So we are on a little bit of a road trip through Wyoming right now, but what we are gonna make today is one of my favorite quick lunches, quick dinners on the trail or on a road trip. And we are making a veggie mixto, so M-I-X-T-O. Sounds kind of fancy, but it is literally just a mixture of veggies cooked up in our camp pot, slapped in a tortilla with a little bit of cheese if you'd like it. So let's get cooking. Let's also see what we have as far as our veggies. A quick tip too when you're setting up your camp stove, this is obviously not very level. It's really important to have a nice level stove so you don't spill or tip it over, but you can always just level it out with a little, little rock or a stick depending on where you are. So nice. So as far as our veggies that we have here, you know, I've prepped a few in our uh, nice reusable Ziploc bags. I love using these because they're cleanable, they're a little bit less waste, but oh man, we've got some broccoli here today. We've got some baby bell peppers, or even just a plank of a bell pepper. Let's see what else we got in here. A couple baby tomatoes. Nice couple fresh mushrooms. Ooh, and some snap peas. Nice, I forgot to put those in there. And then we've got a little bit of a green onion too. Could be some nice freshness in there. And then in this little stash or Ziploc bag, we've got a couple Brussels sprouts too. So what's great about this recipe, especially as you guys are traveling around the country this spring and this summer, is hit up the farmer's market. See what's fresh in your area, whether that's zucchini, heirloom tomatoes, Brussels sprouts, if you're down in kind of the Monterey area, maybe there's uh, some snap peas or uh, some other really great produce that you can find and just make a veggie mixto and also support your local farmer. So this is what I have today. You know, I actually do have quite a few, but I like to pick maybe three veggies and just utilize the, the grocery store to be able to find whatever's fresh for you. But uh, we're going to chop these up, cook them up and slap them in a tortilla. Also, a special thanks to Guanaco Jockey, who's behind the camera today, one of our great recipe testers. It's always great to be able to cook with someone and share a great meal on a big old rock in the middle of Wyoming. Nice. So we got all of our veggies chopped up in here, and you, you know, do see that I'm leaving the root end of the green onion on there because you know what? It's gonna be okay. You don't have to pack it out probably gonna be fine. But for any of these veggies, you're like, ooh, I don't like that. Great, don't put it in there. You make your own veggie mix dough that is your favorite. Again, it could also be something that's super seasonal or super different, whatever. So we've got all the veggies in the pot. Gonna hit it with a little bit of oil. And I've got my seasoning right in my pocket. And I'm just using a mixed seasoning here today, but just a little bit of salt, maybe garlic powder, maybe a little Old Bay all day, that could be fine too. And then we're just gonna get our burner going and saute these up. And what we're looking for here is for these just to get 
you know, a little bit soft. I like my veggies a little bit crispy, so you don't need to boil them to death. I know a lot of you out there, maybe your mom or dad or grandma just gave you, you know, boiled green beans or canned green beans, and you don't really like vegetables very much. Well, if you cook them properly and just keep them nice and fresh, then they're gonna keep a lot of their flavor and a lot of their nutrients too. Wow, look at all those colors too. Nice. So we're just gonna let this cook for another minute or two. And then what you can also add here is some cheese. So you could add these nice little cheese snacks, some baby bells, maybe you're having those for your picnic anyway, or if you wanna get slightly fancy, a little bit of goat cheese or maybe even some local brie could be really, really awesome depending on where you are. Hmm. <laughs> I was going to say it smells really good and it does, but there's a little bit of chili flake in my, in my seasoning mix. So it kind of hit me in the nose here. And if it starts to stick to the bottom, you can hit with a little bit of water or put the lid on it. So it steams a little bit, but this is only going to take a few minutes to, to cook up and kind of saute. And then we're going to toast up our tortillas. <laughs> so let's go ahead and give a couple of these veggies a taste. We usually like to try the ones that are a little bit sturdier. So the broccoli, the cauliflower, the Brussels sprouts. Mm. A little bit crunchy still. But in culinary school, we had a term called tender crisp, which is kind of counterintuitive, but it's about 50 to 60 to 70% cooked, depending on your preferences. But again, I like mine a little bit crunchy to keep some of that texture and some of that freshness. Man, it's starting to smell really, really good. Yeah, look at that. I think we're done for here. Just, I'm just gonna put the lid on it and transfer it over here and keep our burner on because we are going to toast our tortillas and please for the love of god toast your tortillas why because bread is not toast and toast is not bread just give it a couple passes over the flame and we're looking for something like that but oh man so so good or if you do have a fire or a cast iron skillet toast them up but for me this is an absolute have to do these things have been sitting in the package for who knows how long they want to get woken up and it's going to give you some really nice flavor Oh, come on. So we've got our tortillas nice and toasted up. So then I'm gonna go ahead and build my mixto taco, if you will. And I'm gonna go for some, maybe two kinds of cheese. And this actually just fits right in there, which is super easy and great. Maybe a little squeeze of goat cheese. on our nice warm tortilla. Wow, look at all that color. What a great lunch. I get to eat lunch here in the middle of Wyoming. Looking at this beautiful ridgeline and a whole bunch of sheep over there. Wow, this tastes super, super good. Also really, really nutritious. Great color, great texture, super cheap. No, that bite had some goat cheese in it. Mm, that's some creamy. Another thing you can do is add, add a little bit of Dijon mustard or add a little squeeze of hot sauce if you like. So you can add some more condiments too. But man, this is a really, really great option to have along for your road trips coming up this season. But get out there, cook up something amazing, somewhere awesome. Me and Guanaco Jockey are gonna have some lunch on the rock here. But get out there, boca boca.
is crazy. These two things should not be this close together. Absolutely awesome.